When I purchased my Ionic 5 in the June of this year, I took a 2,500 mile road trip using the included Electrify America charging plan. With the Ionic 5 and other EVs, consumers will get some sort of free charging from Electrify America. In my case, it was two years of free charging. Although I had no issues charging during my initial trip, I recently went on a shorter road trip a week ago with around 500 miles with the opposite experience. Welcome back to Spark Drive. Hope you enjoy this week's video. Please consider subscribing and leave a like if you enjoy. On my 500 mile road trip, the chargers would just not work. On the way to my destination, it wasn't much of an issue, just slow charging speeds, but it was a slight inconvenience. But on the way back home, a 20 to 25 minute stop turned into an hour and a half of waiting for one charger to become available. Now I know what you're saying, just call them, have them reset the unit. That's what we did try. Before I arrived, there was two Volkswagen ID4s and a Porsche Taycan trying to get those chargers to work. None of them could get them online. Some even gave up and moved forward. I assumed they were local and could just come back, but personally I needed to charge there, having 10% of juice and around 150 miles to go till my destination. Now another option would be to use another company's chargers, but in my opinion, those may be even more unreliable and slower, plus Electrify Americas are free for some vehicle manufacturers, which is a plus like in my case. Also, as stated on Inside EVs, only about 72% of public chargers worked in the San Francisco Bay Area in a study done by the University of California, Berkeley. In the article, they state this was a study of non-Tesla chargers and that Tesla chargers have a 99.96% reliability, which is honestly insane. Electrify America should strive to become like Tesla, especially considering that they're kind of at the forefront of EV charging networks. A lot of manufacturers are relying on Electrify America to make sure that their customers have a reliable charging grid to get to their destination. But now I do need to cut Electrify America and these other EV charging networks some slack. When Tesla started out several years ago, they had the same issues. Limited charges across the country, chargers not working. Hopefully Electrify America and these other EV charging networks will get better. But a few things won't be as good as Tesla. Such as, it's the same company that manages everything, making it so Tesla has an obligation to make sure their chargers work to a higher standard. Electrify America is a third party company. If chargers are down, consumers can't just go and turn around and blame the manufacturer. It's on Electrify America and the manufacturers aren't really going to push them to be at a higher standard. Electrify America started on February 7, 2017. Tesla started on September 24, 2012. This means Tesla's had 10 years now to get where they are, and so hopefully in a few years Electrify America gets better. But the worst case here is Tesla's actually opening up their charging network to non-Tesla EVs. This has been in effect in some countries, but is now just rolling into the United States. And I know what you're saying, just charge at home. You don't need a charging network even if it is free. It's still cheaper than gas. But how are you gonna bring your house with you when you're on that road trip? Thanks for watching this week's video. If you guys enjoyed, please consider subscribing and leave a like. It definitely helps us and helps the YouTube algorithm boost up our video. Peace.